In this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up an Arduino for Wi-Fi control of a fast LED animation project. I will also show how you can connect to use Alexa to control the lights with your voice. The steps in this video may also be followed for other Wi-Fi controlled actions besides controlling LED lights. But for this video, I will specifically be using this example to demonstrate how it can work with the code in my fast LED animations playlist. With that said, let's begin. The application that makes this possible is called Cinework Pro. If you're new to Cinework Pro, you'll need to create an account. Since I already have one, I'll simply log in. Once logged in, you'll see any existing devices that you've configured on the dashboard. The Devices tab is where we can create a new device. But before that, we'll need to go to the Device Templates tab and create a new device template. Fill in the information by giving it a name and any description and leave the device type set to Other. On the next screen, we can add the desired capabilities. I will choose Power and Mode. Click on the Configure button for the Mode capability. Here you can leave the Mode Instance ID as default, but you'll need to enter a mode name. This mode name will be part of the prompt when you speak to the Voice Assistant, as shown in the examples down here. I will use the word animation for the mode name. Then you will need to add the mode values. The mode values correspond to the name of the animation which you will speak. You can add as many mode values here as you'd like. You may want to be careful here when naming them to choose names that are easy for the voice assistant to understand. I will mention some issues I had with controlling the devices later. For now, I will add these five examples. Click Save when you are done. Now, to set up a new device, go to the Devices tab. Click Add Device and fill in the information. This is where you will set the device name which you will say to the Voice Assistant. I will use Pixel Light for my device name. The Description field is required but does not affect anything. For Device Type, they have many defaults here, but this is where you will need to select your device template which you just created. The next pages are optional functions if you would like to enable them. Once you click Save at the end, the device will be created. Now you can click the Code Generator button to automatically create the Arduino sketch based on your configuration in Cinework Pro. You'll need to download this code and extract the zip folder. When you open the main.ino file, click OK to move it into a sketch folder named Main. There are a few things that will need to be manually updated in the code before uploading. The first thing to do is to make sure that you have the Cinework Pro library installed. You'll also need to add the line here to include the fast LED library. Second, your Cinework Pro information for the app codes and device ID have already been imported to the sketch, so you will just need to enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password here. This next section of the code contains the variables and functions used by Cinework Pro. Most of this is set up already to communicate with the online server. In the loop function, you will need to add the following lines of code. A conditional statement here will first check if the global power state is true. Else, if it is not true, meaning the power state is set to off, then we will need to clear the fast LED lights. Within this conditional statement is where you will need to enter your specific animation function calls in the format shown. If global modes, then in square brackets, the mode instance as a string, is equal to, then the name of the animation from Cinderic Pro, then in the curly brackets you can put your function call. This will repeat for all your animations. Now with these statements, if the current mode matches any of these strings, then the function within the brackets will be called. Next up, you need to include the function in the code. An easy way to do this would be to create a new tab and paste the code containing the function. For example, I will copy and paste the code for my solid animation sketch into this tab. You can then continue to paste the other animations within the same tab, or you can create new tabs for each animation. Also, I forgot to mention earlier, but you'll need to move the header file within the main sketch folder. The last edit required in the sketch is to add the fast LED configuration lines of code in the setup function. 
This defines a few attributes, such as the output pin, number of LEDs, and so on. Finally, you are ready to select your board type and upload the sketch. Once that's done, the device should come online, and you should be able to control it through the Cineric Pro website or in the mobile app. To add Alexa voice control, begin by opening the Alexa app and going to the Skills and Games. Here you can search for Cineric Pro. I already have mine enabled here. Once the skill is enabled and your account is linked, you should be able to start using Alexa for voice control of your devices and animations, as shown in the Cineric Pro template. Alexa, set pixel light to solid. Alexa, set pixel light to twinkle. I came across some minor issues when using Alexa. Originally I had named this device as My LEDs. An issue that would happen when I would ask it to change my LED's animation to a different one is it would sometimes add an apostrophe and not find the device. To fix this, I discovered that speaking slower would work, or the better option for me was to change the device name to something without an S at the end to make it easier for Alexa to understand. Another issue was that it did not understand some of the animation words. For example, the shooting star animation did not work for me by voice command. One solution I found to this is to create a routine with a custom phrase, and Alexa will be able to understand that better. Or you can go back and try to rename the animation in Cineric Pro to something that Alexa will understand. That completes the setup for Alexa. I will also provide a link in the description for the help page for how you can set it up to work with Siri as well. Unfortunately, Google Home and SmartThings are not currently supported for these custom device templates, but support for these devices are expected to come soon. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like or a comment to show your support. Thanks for watching.